here at the conference center of the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA Ibadan, are major players in agriculture from across the African continent. Uh, they are worried that low yield, absence of mechanization as a result of poor funding, have hampered productivity in the agriculture sector. Uh, yeah, then at 12 weeks, we give, uh, Some of these experts believe if yield remains as low as currently obtainable, Africa faces very hard times ahead as population is projected to double by 2050. There is already a food issue on this continent, so you can imagine that if we double the population, I mean the food issue could worsen to the point where it could uh, you know, lead to instability and, and more. So it's very important for Africa, but it's very important for the world that we manage to feed this exploding population. For some of the participants here, small farmers must be encouraged to form clusters and embrace mechanization. We care about the disadvantaged, especially the smallholder farmers because un unless you lift those out of poverty there may not be real development going beyond crop yield the deputy director general of iita also submits that cassava must become an industrial crop with full nutrient potentials harnessed a crop that is grown on massive scale with very high yields so that we can have massive amount of gari production not this small, small in the village, but massive gari production so that we can have uh, uh, plenty of food. And then when we have even more tubers, then we start making uh, starch. We start uh, making other products from gari so that we feed the industries in Nigeria to be highly profitable. The awareness for these victim fortified food crops seems low in Nigeria. Market women and food vendors can only process food crops made available to them. In the light of this, governments at all levels and other stakeholders must step up efforts to create awareness and improve access for farmers.